Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Brendan, and this is your first Ingram Wrestling News video for your Monday morning and afternoon. So, I have some WWE news on the full lineup for this Wednesday night's NXT, which is this week. So, it reads here on the TV screen that WWE NXT is bringing another show to the USA Network in a nice change of pace. They are announcing a few matches early. We Ringside News, my sources previously reported that Finn Balor's number one contender is set to be determined next week, which is this week. Kyle O'Reilly and Pete Dunne will battle to see who get to face Balor at NXT's New Year's Evil special on January the 6th. The company has also announced that Tony Storm versus Rhea Ripley will go down this week. That match could tell a story. It could tell quite a story. Now, I have a gut feeling that Raquel Gonzalez is going to interfere in this match. She's going to interfere in this match like... Mmm, perfecto! Anyways. Also, Karrion Cross will be in action. His opponent has not been named yet. Odds are, it will be very unfortunate for the person cross faces. Leon Ruff and Kushida will also team up to face Austin Theory and Johnny Gargano. So here is the full lineup, the updated lineup for this week's NXT. Rhea Ripley vs. Tony Storm, Pete Dunne vs. Kyle Riley, no one contender match. Leon Ruff and Kushida vs. Austin Theory and Johnny Gargano. Karen Cross versus a mystery opponent. So, Karen Cross's opponent could be one of the three opponents. It could either be Damian Priest, it could be the return, perhaps the return of Rich Holland. We haven't seen Rich Holland in a while. He's been out with injury. Rich Holland could be in for a NXT return this Wednesday night to challenge Cross. He could be the mystery opponent, or it could be Lars Sullivan. Come to think of it. Vince has lost complete interest in Lars Sullivan. Not only Lars Sullivan, he's also lost interest in Otis and Keith Lee, which is sad. So bad that Vince McMahon was forced to put Keith Lee back in the performance center to train. So to Vince McMahon, Keith Lee is not a wrestler to him. He doesn't see Keith Lee as a professional wrestler, and that's fucking sad as fuck. That is absolutely fucking terrible coming out of Vince McMahon. Keith Lee, I don't know if you're forgetting this, Vince, you fucking moron. Keith Lee is a former North American champion and a former NXT champion. Why would you say that Keith Lee is not a professional wrestler when he is? I mean, for God's sake, you called him up to the main roster and you fucking wasted him for what? For what? No reason. Absolutely fucking mesmerizing, man. Stupid. You go from fucking up Keith Lee's run to fucking wasting him on TV to fucking up his interest music to changing Matt Riddle's name to keeping Black off TV to wasting and burying the Fiend Bray Wyatt on television. How stupid do we all think we do you all think you look? How stupid do you think you look? How stupid do you think we look? Really? So Vince, you you made a you just don't know it yet, but you're gonna realize it sooner or later. You've made a big mistake. A big effing mistake, really. But Cross's opponent could more than likely be Damian Priest because if you think of it, Cross did attack Damian Priest and powerbomb him on the ground last Wednesday night. So it could be Damian Priest. Folks, that's gonna do it. Hit that like subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. Please, give me your comments and thoughts on the news on the full lineup for this week's NXT. So, folks, have yourselves a good Sunday. See you later. Oh, I'm going to be streaming today, so I'm going to be posting a poll on what game do you all want me to stream on today. So, see you later.